Hi, this is Troy from Blockchain Rookies. This is Blockchain Essentials. Today, let's talk about some misunderstandings. I want to talk about three basic misunderstandings in blockchain. Energy consumption, speed or performance, and privacy. When it comes to energy consumption, there's a new headline out almost every day talking about how the Bitcoin blockchain is using huge amounts of electricity, consuming huge amounts of energy, and that it's not sustainable. Some headlines actually say that the Bitcoin blockchain is using more energy than the entire country of Iceland. That makes for a nice headline, but it turns out that Iceland is largely geothermal powered and doesn't use that much electricity anyway. The point is the Bitcoin blockchain does use a fair amount of electricity to reach consensus. Consensus means all of the individual computers have to agree on what is the correct version of the blockchain and are transactions that are added verified and validated. What people typically don't talk about is that there are other versions of the blockchain that use different consensus mechanisms that don't use that much energy at all. They're actually low energy. As a community within the blockchain, they realized very early that energy consumption was going to be critical to mass adoption of the blockchain. So we're seeing lots of new blockchains coming already with new consensus mechanisms that are equally as fast, equally as secure, but use far less energy. The second one I want to talk about is speed. The Bitcoin blockchain does three to seven transactions per second maximum. The Ethereum blockchain up to 15 transactions per second. These are designed and built into the original protocols. You can add as many new mining nodes as you want, and you're still not going to exceed that level. And people have said that blockchain simply can't keep up with the speed. But when they say the blockchain, they don't realize that there are lots of different kinds of blockchains. There are a variety of different formats that are available, some of which have different consensus mechanisms that can go much faster. We're already seeing trials in excess of 30,000 transactions per second from some like Hashgraph really interesting things that are starting to move forward. So again, the blockchain community says performance is an issue. They're building new blockchains that address the performance issue and the energy issue. And three, privacy. The Bitcoin blockchain, part of the distribution is that every transaction is visible to everybody. And this whole transparency thing makes a lot of enterprise customers really nervous. They don't want all the details of all of their transactions on a publicly readable or publicly accessible blockchain. It makes for a real problem for them from an adoption perspective. There are a few things that I want to say about that. The first thing is not everything gets written into the blockchain. The second thing is you can encrypt or encode information and write it into the blockchain. So only the people that have the private keys to unencrypt can see that information. And the third thing is there are a variety of blockchain structures. We talk about public blockchains, private blockchains, and hybrid blockchains. Enterprise customers can choose private or hybrid blockchains to maintain control over the data in a way that they feel comfortable with. As a side part of that, we talk in the EU about GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation. And people say, because the blockchain is transparent and because the blockchain is immutable or unchangeable, it's not GDPR compliant. Well, I always talk about it's the same with a Porsche. I can take my Porsche and I can drive my Porsche legally or I can go as fast as I want. A blockchain can be used exactly the same way. You can store data in a way that is GDPR compliant or you can store it in a way that is not GDPR compliant. Just because it's blockchain doesn't mean that it can't be used. So we've talked about three main misunderstandings, which include energy consumption, performance, and privacy. All of these things are really important to the broad future adoption of blockchain. My name's Troy, I'm with Blockchain Rookies. Thanks for watching.